Good morning, everyone. Yay! Or uh, afternoon. Oh, yeah, I forgot. It is afternoon on the East Coast. Whereas normally we've been streaming in afternoon for West Coast, almost nighttime for East Coast. But, uh, yeah, I hope you guys are excited about our new stream time. Um, as you guys can see, it's 11 a.m. PST. And then some weird time on the East Coast. Like, no one ever really knows, right? It's 2 pen. 2 per. 2 p.m. 2 p.m. Okay, 2, two perms, not two bad. 2 p.m. 2 perm. 2 perm ain't bad. 2 perm ain't bad. But um, if you guys are just joining us, I am Esper of the Frag Dolls. I am joined by Rookfell. And once again, Rookfell is going to introduce herself. Ja. <laughs> sort of. Sort of. <laughs> um, I am Rookfell, also known as Megan. And I am one of the community managers for the Mighty Quest for Epic Loot. Specifically for us Yankees and North America. Well, the first one we're going to talk about is open beta. And I know we briefly talked about it last week. And um, actually in my notes, my favorite thing about it is uh, the runaway. Uh, specifically how the <laughs> runaway is coming. And I think you just saw the notes, did you? <laughs> yeah, I did. So, um, it's late on me. Yeah, so um, every before every stream, I actually do like a quick uh, run a show, like notes that we're gonna go over, things we should talk about, and under open beta, I have should I tease Rookfell about looking like the Runaway again? Maybe. Do you see? Do you do you see the magistry? This is this is all of my skill in exploit happening right now. Here, tilt your head a little bit to the side. <laughs> Which side? Left, uh, right. My left. Your right. Uh, uh, my right. Wait, wait, no, the other right. <laughs> so, um, yeah, as you guys can see there. Uh, like, get the hands up a little bit. Yeah. Is it good? Is yeah, good? It's, it's perfect. So it, it literally, yep, that looks exactly, yep, that is amazing. You're up, Sam, uh, Yeah, um, so pretty much, yep. That is a Rick Feld, North American <laughs> Community Manager. It looks a lot like the runaway. As you guys can see, you can't even tell the difference, so... Um, I'm pretty impressed right now. We kind of had a big announcement yesterday. Mm. Pretty massive, right? Pretty, pretty big, pretty big. Burp, the derp, derp. This is really kind of disorienting. Mm -hmm. uh, we had a big news announcement yesterday. Um, sorry, guys. We're, we're going to have to do a bit of a, a reset. Dun, dun, dun. We're, uh, we're going to have to do a, we're calling it a progression reset. It's not a total wipe. Um, we thought long and hard how we're actually going to uh, phrase it. It is a progression reset. Mm -hmm. So the long story is we wanted to do this thing called open creation, which we can talk about. Uh, sorry, chat. Chat has questions. Um, so we're doing this thing called open creation, which is when we're completely changing up how players are able to build their castles. We wanted to get rid of a lot of restrictions. We wanted to open it up to be more creative, trying to get rid of a lot of the either the repetitive castle designs or some of the unintended exploits that comes from allowing people to combine all these different combinations. So we're doing something called open creation, which allows players to kind of put the castle together whatever way they want, only before they can publish it, they have to be able to beat it. Yeah. The problem is it's kind of broke everything. Yeah, I'm not uh, surprised. <laughs> yeah, like, I mean, even last week, somebody in chat was saying, yeah, no, this open creation is kind of cool, but it's, it's a little buggy on the test server. And it's just like, yeah, um, and and all of our attempts to push it live kind of just broke everything. All the castles, every castle was just like, nope, you're no longer working and you're full of bugs. So it was something that we, um, we really, really didn't want to do, mostly because we said we weren't going to do it. Mm -hmm. But it's like, no, uh, sorry guys. And it's just like, well, what about this? What about that? And a lot of trial and error really tried to get it so we didn't have to do this. And when I say this was a really recent decision, I'm like, I think I got the email with all the confirmed information, like 9.30 p.m. Tuesday night. Yeah, so pretty recent. Um. It's, it's, it's a very, very, very recent decision. All the times before that we were saying, oh, we're not going to do it, we don't do it. It was like, we were being honest. It wasn't on the table at all. Weren't considering it. And then it just, something along the way just broke everything. Yeah, and I mean, it's it's a big change. But I mean, with open creation, it's just going to open up so much. <laughs> open creation opening up things. Yeah. Woo! Um, 
so it's definitely going to change a lot. You know what I mean? Like it's it's going to change how the game's played, especially from a defense perspective. Um, Attacking is going to be completely different now. And the good news is, as far as like the progression reset goes, um, are we resetting crowns and leaderboards? Yes, we've kind of mentioned that we're going to be doing that for a while, and it's because we want to start doing stuff with crowns and leaderboards. Mm -hmm. They're no longer just going to be like this, like bragging rights. There's actually going, we're hoping to start doing some more in-game competitions, in-game events that does involve having crowns. Mm -hmm. um, any flings that you've purchased? Um, any flings? This is actually the eye patch is like ruining my ability to like look at the camera and reach out at the same time. Um, any flings that were purchased will get refunded to you. Any items you have in your inventory or you have equipped will get refunded to you. So people mm -hmm. aren't going to lose their content, like costumes. If you've managed to get some really cool epic gear, you're not going to lose your gear. Um, we're going to be giving people boosts and for life experience, for life force, for gold, for experience, to help get them back up to the level that they were. Um, it's just like, and, and a couple of people have asked this before, are we going to get any sort of reward or compensation and it's just like it's being look looked into it's being worked on um it hasn't quite been decided yet it's something we definitely want to do but given the very short time frame that we've been working with and like determining oh my god we do have to do a reset and getting the news out to the community a lot of this just hasn't been finalized mm -hmm. yet okay and so then the next fan art um yes this is a sir pain hammer fan art by you yak you yak and so let's let's tap over to you yak's art so um basically it's sir pain hammer can't hold all them loots you know that internet meme where it's like can't hold all these oranges <laughs> that's what it uh kind of reminded me of except it's sir pain hammer he's uh been stealing all that that money all that loot and diamonds and jewels and uh, he's he's running away and um, by the way, all the uh, art that I'm showing you guys is actually stuff that has received beta keys. So if you do want to get your hands on a beta key, um, you can send in fan art via the forums, you can send it on Facebook, etc. Or you can hook up to Rookville on um, Twitter, because I know that works closed beta between now and February 25th, you're going to be one of the first people to check out all the new content. Um, the 00 packs are going to be going away. This is going to be your, I'm getting really pointy with this finger. Ah, uh, um, much pointing. I'm going to kick out of the stream in like two seconds, I know it. Yep. But, but uh, it's definitely still worth checking out um, with the closed beta. Get in, check out all these new features. First and foremost, tune in, win some keys. Do it. El Polo Loco. Do it. I get it. El Polo Loco. Okay, we'll see you guys later.